Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Wednesday. It is November 13th. This will be our chart lesson for the day. We spent the majority of the day in an uptrend here, a uh, two-tiered channel, but notice how this thing kind of strengthened here, and we spent most of this price action stayed in the upper half of this two-tiered channel, and then suddenly we had a big break, and we just kind of went sideways in a real tight channel before we broke out and hit tried to uh, make a new high before the close and you can see we got close to uh, retesting that high but we didn't quite get there but again we spent most of the day on uh, an uptrend when we first came in it we were looked like we were trying to wrap up a downtrend but this thing never could go any lower and what, until we got notice that the close yesterday was the overnight high as well and so until we you had to you had to assume that was a target probably early on as we're heading up here and once we got up there you had to be careful getting long into this but you can see this channel continued to play out um the resist the resistance across here was a little tough so you had to be careful of it um as well it finally acted as support it was good for a scout and then the bottom fell out of it so um Again, we're up here near 3,100, near all-time highs again. So this market um, is probably going to be, it's probably going to test both sides of this 3,100 a few times before we decide if we're going lower or higher. Um, but again, you can see this uptrend. Again, it started as a downtrend and then turned into an uptrend. This thing looks rather mild here. It's not quite a 45 degree angle. So, and you can see prices are flipping back and forth, but I'd still, especially once you're in this upper half of this thing and keep bouncing off that midline, I would stay with the trend and I wouldn't be looking for any shorts until you had a pretty good indication that we were going lower, which seemed that way right in here. And you can see we had a few shorts before it turned up again. So um, anyway, let me back out a little bit make this a little bit larger you can see there even there it looks a little bit more like a 45 degree angle once you back out too so that kind of changes the appearance of this thing a little bit but uh, when I came in you know we usually start around seven and that's right up through this area right here and at this point the trend is down you've got two legs down so it could reverse but you got this trend line it never really was really verified, but if you get a chance to go short here, you'd probably want to take it. I marked this trade here. It's a very small bar, very low risk, and notice there's two legs up, basically. And you're a little bit away from the EMA there, so at a very minimum, you're probably going to snap back to the... If you measure that, that's your first leg, and then there's leg two, and you see it's a perfect, basically a perfect measured move, two legs up. And um, this is a second entry short as well. You made a new swing low there. So you treat that like a new low and a first entry and then a second entry. And, and if you draw your little short term trend line on here, I, notice you get the close outside, new high, and then it sells off. But uh, uh, so this one for the most part looked like it played out. But the main reason you're looking for a possible retest of the low after two legs down and you've been trading down since the close yesterday afternoon all the way into four o'clock this morning and then you get a little two-legged correction well that could be the center of the pattern this turns out to be a fairly nice trade you probably would have had a runner here as well but when it gets down here to this support area here it bounces and notice you're working down and you get a close outside and a new low all in one bar there and so that's a second entry long. Notice that new swing high, first entry, second entry. But the big thing is you've tested this multiple times here, then again, then again, then again, and then a second time here. And you could have moved this line down there probably by that time. And that's a little double test with a nice failed break lower that reverses. A lot of times that's going to be the low of the day. And, of course, today it was. And that would have been a great place to get long. And so if you just caught those two trades, you're probably done for the day. And you did get a higher low here. Notice how it pushes through the EMA, pulls back. And that trend line seems to be still holding right there. So I would expect to at least get another 
this could be one leg so you may get that i would ex expect to try to go test these highs again um, of course you want to draw your trend line right here and see if you get a if prices come back to it again which they do but this is just basically a higher low it's not a perfect reversal but it's good enough you're making higher highs and higher lows here and notice it goes on to make another higher high comes back uh t bounces right off that trend line unfortunately you don't get a very good signal bar there it is a second entry if you had a good setup here by all means take that trade because you can see you're working down first entry and you come back down it confirms that trend line second entry and you're making higher highs and higher lows um, so if you can get long right there by all means take it on mine you get a higher low here it looks similar to this one it's a little bit of a repeat pattern so okay to go long right there and you expect and it like I said at this point you're look, really looking to fill that gap this is the gap this is where price is open this is where they closed yesterday uh, so this would be the gap on the daily chart that's what the yellow line and this brown dash line are and this is a little bit of a spike in channel but it sells off real quick and then bounces uh, there is a second entry long this was a little confusing here it's hard to know what the market was doing really at this point you would think it's coming back to the trend line so that makes me a little leery uh, about getting along there but if you but after the fact if you look at it notice we came off the trend line here we hadn't got to the upper side so um, in retrospect it doesn't really surprise me that we didn't uh, come back we went we don't have noticed we went up and touched and now we're coming back down again so that's what you expect to happen so um, if you kind of if you had a better signal bar here this signal bar is too big on my chart but you could have used this one if it was a good bar and maybe you had a better setup here than me it is a second entry um, I didn't really catch the fact that we didn't get to the high again I was just looking at the fact that we didn't get back to the trend line so I didn't catch that in real time after the fact I, I spotted it but uh, in real time I didn't catch that so I was a little unsure I just assumed prices were coming back to the trend line or maybe we're going to turn back down again and we may get a measured leg down similar to these first two so I was a little I don't I was a little um, cautious about going long there I guess is the way I would word it I, I, it's not a perfect setup by any means but after the fact looking at it if you had a good signal bar there that wasn't humongous like mine or maybe this one was better if your chart looks similar to mine it is a second entry long and we weren't to the highs yet so that might have been and plus usually when you pull through the EMA you are going to pull back or not the well the EMA too but the midline we actually did pull back and test the EMA before we went lower but notice how we shot through that midline and didn't pull back usually you will pull back and test it at least before you go lower again and we so you would so you wouldn't be a surprise if this went back and test the EMA and then turned back down so I just wasn't um, real sure what was going on there so I only marked this after the fact after somebody else asked me about it and their chart looked even a little different than mine there um, and then I got to looking at it closer at when I was doing the chart lesson this afternoon just going through the trades uh, I spotted that hey we didn't get back down to the trend line so it was no surprise that we went back up there there's probably two measured mo legs here if you look at it I can measure it like that you can see we were real close right there before it gave you another two-legged correction so again I don't think you really wanted to get short up here because look trying to guess a short we finally had a lower eye here but not a very good signal bar and it's right into that midline and EMA but notice when it drops down right here you get a double test it's not a again my signal bar is no good here but notice you made that low you test it once you test it twice and there's two legs down so this is the second entry long um, that's pretty much a doji on my chart but if you had a better signal bar you could you could make that blue because it actually looks similar to this it's not quite the same where you're moving up and it just drops down and then goes back up and goes sideways again uh, and then you're kind of lifting up and then it drops down two legs down and goes back up again so it's it's almost a repeat pattern but regardless 
you get that double test right in there and I just didn't have a very good signal bar so otherwise I probably would say take that trade and look at it go comes up and again I, I wouldn't be looking for any shorts and this is really two legs back again to the midline to the EMA fairly small bullish bar you did get a two bar matching high but it's making a lower high or uh, higher low right there too so notice this low is higher than that one and it's bouncing right off that line um, this is like a little breakout pullback it's a double bottom there I'd probably take that one uh, no probably to it I would take that trade so um, I look at that as two legs back and you could also look at that as two legs back as well so um, I wouldn't be trying to get long up in here though into that resistance we do break higher you get a little breakout pullback but those are the you know those are the most inconsistent trades Generally, when you break out here, it's going to fail, even if only temporarily. So wait for a double test or a trap or something like that. And notice you get another test here. A fairly bullish bar. You got a double top, so a new high, first entry. So that's a second entry long, a uh, double bottom, a double test of that breakout area. And look at it go. And then suddenly it just turns and runs down. And this is why we always keep our stops in place. Uh, this shouldn't have got you because you should have been scalped out and moved to break even or moved the trade to break even, whatever, however you uh, play that. But so that shouldn't affect you in any way. But just in case it didn't, you weren't scalped out yet. This is why you always have your safety stop in place because that was definitely unexpected right there. Boom. And the bottom just fine. And then we just start kind of go start going sideways. But with that big leg down, you would think the market's going to try to make another leg down. And so uh, notice you try to go higher once, then twice. And you really get a double test of that. You made the high there. You made one there. You made another one, then another one. And look how bearish that bar is. I like going short there. I really thought we'd go lower. But when we didn't and bounced here, you got to assume, hey, this is probably a range. And... If you'd had a good signal bar right there, I'd say take that one. But notice that's just, even though there's some red in there, that bar is more, it closed in the upper half, so it's more bullish than it is bearish. You drop down, and that's a fairly bullish bar. Uh, gives you a chance to get in. Um, close enough to the low with plenty of room to get out before you get back up here. I like that one. Uh, it looked like you were, it looked like you'd get stopped out for a minute there, but it, it turned on up, went back up. And then you get a pretty good signal bar right here, and notice we've been turning down there every time. That's a fairly bearish, and that's a second entry short. Go short right there. Again, there's a second entry long right there. Uh, but notice you, how you don't get a very good signal bar, and notice how it fails. And then you drop down, and now you get a good signal bar here. And you test that low again, it closes inside, and you get that little break lower that's been a little lower than the rest of them, and now it takes off. So that would have been a great one to enter right there, and you could have ridden that all the way up, back up to the highs again. Uh, notice that you're moving up. You get a first entry here. Of course, you can't go long into that resistance, but it pushes out and pulls back and gives you a failed second entry short and confirms that little spike and channel right there. I don't have the other side on it right there, but let me put it on. You can see that's a little, it spikes up and goes into a channel. And um, that's a failed second entry short. And so we're probably going to try to make a retest of this high. So I wouldn't be afraid to consider that one either. It's not perfect. I made it green because it didn't get back to the EMA, but that trend line's there and it couldn't get through it. So... Uh, and there is a little two bar matching high, which gives you a little more concern. So, um, that's not a perfect setup, but it does fit our criteria. If you want to be a little aggressive, you may take that one. So, and that got us into the two o'clock hour and uh, not a bad trading day. This was fairly simple to find here. Uh, the reversal is a little different because we didn't get our kind of confirmation. It's really just two legs down during the overnight and then. From that point, we were up. So it's really an uptrend here. Started maybe about 4 o'clock in the morning. 
and let me think what else here if there was anything else oh the other part was when it bounced a little early here that's just it's just really hard to know what the market's doing there. Uh, again, after the fact, it's pretty clear we weren't to the high yet. So um, it didn't have to come back down here to the lows. I mean, it never has to do anything. The market, you know, there's nothing that's 100% in the market. So it could have just turned there regardless. But looking at it after the fact, I believe the reason it turned down is we weren't to the highs yet. And the market had just bounced a little hard here. So it needed a little correction. And they probably shook out some of the longs probably some more shorts piled in here and they had to exit right here. Uh, I don't think there was a, any kind of news item there or anything. Um, uh, pretty sure there wasn't, but, uh, it did rock it up real quick. So it looks like it trapped people. The shorts, uh, finally gave up or they were piling back in here and had to exit. But you see, this one did the same thing. It rocketed back up. Shorts probably started pop. People are try always trying to pick tops and most of them will fail. And they'll get stopped out. And that's what happens here. And they have to exit. Same thing probably happened here. Just less of them. Most of them have gotten leery by this point, And there are fewer of them. Especially when you're getting up here near this 30, 3100 level again. So uh, and this is a clear channel here. I'm talking about, I'm sorry, a clear range. But anyway, um, that's what I saw today. And again, this was fairly easy to find. Shouldn't have had too much difficulty finding that. Even if you did, you could find these shorter term ones. And somebody asked me about that again. You know, sometimes I'll leave this channel off and I'll just play these shorter term ones. And, and you know, when it's, when it's this obvious, you're probably going to see them on there. But sometimes they're not as obvious. And there's a bigger shorter term, you know, there's a shorter term channel that's probably more valid. It gives you more trades or that's more in the moment, so to speak, if that makes sense. And <clears throat> I'd probably, I'll probably trade it instead. And I may not put these, put it up the bigger channel on there. So that, that was a question I added that. I hope he understood that the trader, hopefully if he's watching the video, I hope you understood my answer there is that I was just playing the like here, you could probably, like, this is probably a good example here. I was playing this channel right here. That's all I cared about. But if you come over here, you can probably find another channel here. And he was, and I think he'd drawn his like this. And he was curious why I drew mine. I didn't have this on here and I was drawing the shorter term one. Well, I was playing the shorter term one. Yeah, you can see this right here. That's, that's probably a nice valid channel working up through there. Definitely bounced and confirmed right there. So, but this doesn't really help you until you get to three o'clock in the afternoon right before the market closes. Well, I'm trying to trade this at one something and that's not going to help me. So I'm playing this channel right here. And even if I, even if there was say something else in here, like maybe that was the channel or the trend line right here. This still doesn't help me till almost three o'clock, 250. And so I'm playing this one. So I hope that makes sense. But that's why sometimes you won't see my bigger channels on there. If, if it doesn't really, if it doesn't really, if it's not really going to help you in the near term, I may not put it on there. So uh, even though it's there and it's valid. So I hope that makes sense. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up, folks. I uh, hope you had a good day. We'll be back again to do it tomorrow. And believe it or not, wrap up a week tomorrow. I just, just don't know where the time's going. Seems like a week just flies by. Um, <clears throat> as you can tell, my voice is still, uh, I'm feeling fine now. My throat doesn't hurt anymore, but I'm still just, uh, my voice is just still not 100% yet when I get to talking a lot. So um, we've had a big cold spell here. You, you know, you know, people live in a colder climate probably laugh, but you know, it's been getting down in the teens at night here, uh, Fahrenheit teens and, uh, the, high, the highs have been below freezing the last couple of days. Today it got up um, close to 40 degrees, but it's supposed to be back down in the 20s again tonight. And, uh, and that's cold for us. And so, I mean, especially when you go right in from summer right into cold weather, which is kind of what we did here. So um, when that happens, a lot of people get sick around here and it gets passed around quickly. So, and I, I've, I've had, I've 
was thought I was I was kind of lucky last year. I didn't really pick it up like I did last year, like I nor normally this time of year. Every year for a week or two, I'll have throat problems, but it uh, seemed like last year I got by, but it, I didn't get so lucky this year. But uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm just yakking here, so no sense in dragging this video on. Um, I'm done for today. We'll be back again tomorrow. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.